they are the same as the Turk, but they hate each other. The Greek hate the Turks. See, the Americans hate the Russians. It's all Esau. Same. And then I should speak and, about that. Too. And then Germans hate French, and French hate Germans. That's the same shit. These devils. Esau hate his own yeah. nation. Yeah, man. And that is spiritual because the curses come off of us and it's coming upon Esau. Esau is going to fight against his own. You know, just like how we back in the days, the northern kingdom was fighting against the southern kingdom, man. Yeah, they was no. having wars, man. Crazy wars. Okay, so it says, so we prophesy about Esau, Edom. We prophesy about Mount Seir. And say unto it, behold, thus said Yahweh the Most High. It's like, a, and say unto it, thus said Yahweh the Most High, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. And I will stretch out my hand against thee. And I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. So Esau used the blessing that he received from his father, man, to kill us. To kill everyone. Yeah, man, to kill us, man, the children of Israel. That's why the Most High is going to visit them. You see? That's yeah. why the Most High is going to destroy them utterly. That's why the Most High is going to exterminate them. That's why you know what he's doing when he go to America. The Indian live in America. You know what he's doing? He kill all the fucking Indian. That's what the scripture will speak about. That um, he's blessed. He's a blessed. He take it over with his sword and he kill all the Indians. That's what yeah. the Indians the other nations do. The Gadites. Canada, uh, India. Yeah, Canada. The Native Americans. Native right. Americans. I mean that. I mean that. Not the India. Fucking coolie. Yeah. Native Americans, yeah. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and in the time of their iniquity. It's like, and in the time their iniquity had an end. So Esau always wants to uh, um, um, uh, further the affliction, man. Esau has this perpetual hatred, which perpetual is, is forever, man. Hatred that lasts forever. He never lets it go. And it all goes back to what we just read in the book of Genesis, that we have the birthright. It all goes back to the book of Genesis that we, uh, that we um, have uh, the blessing, man. That is the ultimate hatred that Esau has in his heart. And he has it in his spirit, man. It's just he doesn't understand why he has it. Because most of these Edomites right now, they don't know... They don't uh, know, neither do they understand that um, that we are the children of Israel. They don't know that we used to have them in captivity, but the, the higher-ups, they know. The, the history is not uh, 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 um, uh, uh, wiped away for them. Esau really knows the history. Esau knows that we ruled Europe, man. Esau knows that we are the children of Israel, but the normal ones, the common ones, they don't know it, but they still have the hatred. Yeah, but you remember you went to Belgium, you see the history that um, Esau know it, right? No? Yeah, well, they show. Still, no, 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 in Belgium, in the in the Royal Museum, African Museum, they show what we had in um, in uh, Africa. Oh, and dear, that, Africa, that was Africa. So yeah. Africa. And that shows us... This is why the most I put us in slavery, because we was doing all kinds of voodoo. We was worshiping all kinds of entities and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, you have to look up a lot of um, historical things to get the facts right, man. So you can put all the pieces together and understand. You have places in Europe also where you can go and check out and see like, oh, OK, so this is what's going on. And you see statues of Jake. Like in Holland. That's why you see also, you went to France and you see the Hebrew, also yeah. all those things, man. Yeah. But that's you a historical uh, artifact where they have the name of Yahweh on the stone, the Moabite stone. Okay. Yeah, man. Everywhere, man, in Europe, you used to rule in Europe. Gone. Yeah, well. Yeah, but man. I always see some more head, the more yeah. head. I saw it somewhere, even France. In Holland, they have it. They and have the statue. And yeah, that too, yeah. It, and it's a restaurant, also old restaurant, old building. And then they show you two jakes and they call it um uh I forgot more Maori Maoris? No, the more something uh the more okay, something. something about the, the brother Hazak knows it, but I forget the name. Okay. But they put statues, man, of Jake. They put it, man. They just show you, but you ain't think and then then in Holland 
they have the the um, the dessert with chocolate uh -huh. and they call it the more head yeah 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 and the, oh you have that, the whiskey you have the whiskey it's called more head yeah but then you have the chocolate the chocolate and they call it more copper more copper so means yeah. the heads of moors but and the heads of moors and then they brown so isa knows man she know it and even for us too for us have it in the norm the, the number plate in the number plate you can see a moorish head with the arm it look like a flank and the red cross, you know? That's um, Sardinia. The island is called Sar Sardinia. You can look it up, Sardinia. Okay. And then back in the days, they had the, the cover over Yeah, there. they cover it, the check you see it. No, back in the days, it was on the head. Yeah. And with the Afro hair and the and the nose, and then the, the gold, earring. gold earring, and then they put it. Down. And we was looking the, to the right side, to the righteous side. And then they changed the flag. And then they put the face to the left, with the with the Blind. with the blindfold, man. Like Jacob is blinded right now. He doesn't That's know right. who he is. So Esau knows what he's doing, man. Yeah, man. But guess what? We all gonna take it back. Like we started the, the lesson off with, the saints of the Most High are going oh. to take the kingdom. So we, um, Ezra, which one? Yeah, six. For six? No, oh, ch chapter, chapter six, six first. Fifty-two. Oh, fifty-two. Okay. Um. So six to seven, so six, so fifty-two, yeah. Okay, second across chapter six, verse fifty-two. But unto Lif, Lif, Lifandian, Lifaitan, Lifaitan. So given the seven part, namely the most, and had keep him to be the fall of whom the well and when. So lucky. Let me read it again. Let me read it. Okay. Verse 52. But unto Leviathan they, thou gavest the seventh part, na namely the moist, and hast kept him to be devoured of whom thou wilt and when. So Leviathan uh, has received the, the, the water. Leviathan is the king of the water. Like it says in verse 49. Thou didst, then didst thou ordain two living creatures, the one thou callest Enoch, which is man. And the other Leviathan, which Leviathan is, 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 uh, is uh, what they call today uh, Godzilla. You know, he's the ruler. He's the king of the sea. Of the if sea. the Most High wants him to devour anything of anybody, he will do it. Yeah. You see, that's why it says, But unto Leviathan thou gavest the seventh part, namely the moist, and hast kept him to be devoured of whom thou wilt, and when. Upon the sixth day thou gavest commandment unto the earth, that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. You see? So we all come from Adam, but guess what? There's a chosen one from Adam. And who are those chosen people? The Israelites, man. The Israelites are the chosen of the Most High. Okay, but don't think like this. Adam is not the holy one man, but he have also the most I create Adam, which is a uh, man of the ground. You know, it's man, so we create of the ground. So when we create, uh, when we create a man, and then the most I have choose one of them. So we are the choose of of uh, out of um, Adam. Yeah, the chosen ones. Yeah, because uh, uh, Adam is the Hebrew word Adama, Adama, which means ground. Ground. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made us the world for our sakes. So here you see it, man. Ezra, Ezra knows the most I has given the world unto us. The world is created for us. The world itself and the people that are in the world. Because we are the chosen of the most high. You see? As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. And has likened the abundance of them like a drop that falleth from a vessel. So all the nation is nothing, man. When Yahweh Bashem shall choose us and the rest is nothing. You don't even care about them. They are just like a spittle, man. This this nothing. That's why because I remember in the trip to uh, to Deuteronomy, he Yahweh have us a special people. We are above all nations mm -hmm. in the face of the earth. You understand? That we are, we are choose one. Mm -hmm. 
But the rest is nothing. The rest had to be so put down for us, man. That's right. Bro. Um, and now, O Yahweh, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So this is the time of the dominion of Esau, which Esau is part of the heathen. So now we are under these heathens. They're devouring us. So Ezra is like, huh? We, the earth is made for us. Why are, why are they above us? That's what it should to say in Job. Let me get it. But you shall know who is the wicked one. But the scriptures have said that. Um, Done. The wicked is Esau, man. Malachi yeah. 1 and 4. Let me get that for this. What you look for? Tw uh, 24 and 9? Yeah. Let me read that for them to know. Oh, yeah. Okay. What? 9 and 24 is lucky. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was, you was in 18. I was joking. And I was, I was like, away. wait. Come on. Okay, Job, Job 9 and 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah the other way wrong. Yeah, man. Okay. Um, yeah. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, which is Esau, man. Malachi 1 and 4. Esau is the wicked. The earth is given unto him. So that's why we are still under these heathens, man. Yeah. And we have to push through, man. And we have to continue being under them until the Most High just cuts it off, man. You see, these are damn Ishmaelites, man. You can see who, who they are, man. Damn Ishmaelites uh, drive by, look dirty. Esau drives by. He stopped slow. You, you see the Edomite? Yeah. But then someone's spirit is different. He'd be like, hey, you That's see him point. with the beard. He had the beard. He, he salute us. So you have different types of people, man. But now we are under these heathens, yeah. like it says. Verse 58, 2nd Ezra 6 and 58. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten. So the scripture says we are the only begotten of the Most High. Okay. So only we are the children. That's important. Only we are the children of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And thy fervent lover are given into their hands. Okay. If we, it's like if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? So Ezra asked himself, Ezra asked himself, like, why don't we have a place where we can live and have our people together? Under Yahweh Basham Yahweh Why don't we have that? You know why we don't have that? Because according to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy tells you that um, the blessed is for us. If we if we hear okay, to the Most High, we are blessed that we can have everything. That's why we have a land, aliment, and food and everything. Yeah. But if we don't listen, if we don't obey to the Most High, then it's a curse. That's why we fall under Esau. That's right, that's right. We lost everything. Yeah, man. But Ezra, he ain't think about that, you know? Plus, the prophecy have to come to pass. That's why the angel Uriel, the angel Uriel come to Ezra and he tell him, look, this, that. Ezra have a lot of questions because he sees his people. His people suffering. Why is this happening? You see, because Ezra was living in the Babylonian Empire. Oh, that time. Yeah, and then the Babylonians take them into slavery. So reading on in chapter 7. And when I had made an end of speaking these words, there was sent unto me the angel which had been sent unto me the night before, which is the angel Uriel, according to um, somewhere it says it. Somewhere in Ezra it says, uh, yeah, here. As Second Ezra chapter 4, verse 1. And the angel that was sent unto me, whose name was Uriel, gave me an answer. Okay, so the angel of Uriel came again unto him. Verse 2, And he said unto me, Up, Ezra, and hear the word that I am come to tell thee. And I said, Speak on my power. Then said he unto me, The sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. But put the case... The entrances were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If ye went not through the narrow, 
how could he come into the broad so well, so just like we see here you have the sea but if you in the if you in the land in the middle of the land if you want to reach if you want to reach the sea you have to go through the narrow passage of the water and you already know that it's going to be heavy it's going to be hectic it's going to be rough but you have to go if you want to reach the sea you have to go to the rough yeah now fast not too fast means you have to take the time to go so down and go down and then wash out yourself mm -hmm. control yourself stuff like that yeah so the angels say you have to go through this if you want to reach it in the sea that's important so what is the sea the sea represents the kingdom mm -hmm. if you want to make it in the kingdom you got to go through rough things yeah and that's the suffering that means you go fuck up yourself and try to survive of all those things. Yeah, man. Go in the narrow. That's right. And if this was fucking things, you got yeah, man. snake around there. You keep going on. Hey. Gone. And I said, speak on my power. Then said he unto me, the sea is, the set, is set in the wide place that it might be deep and great. But put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it if he were not through the narrow? How could he come into the broad? There is also another thing. So this is another example. A city built it, build it and set upon a broad field is full of all good things. So that building is the kingdom. It's set upon a beautiful, beautiful field. Beautiful. Okay. But how are you going to reach it? The entrance is narrow and it is set in a dangerous place to fall. That's what I said. Like as it were, a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. And only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Okay? So that's also, we walk behind Jehovah Shai. We walk in his footsteps. And we follow him. And we pray, Jehovah, lead us unto the kingdom. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai lead us unto the kingdom and keep us in his sight. That's why the, we have the prayer up there, man, which is uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, please cast not thy spirit away from me, man. Al Tashayalaknaya, Malapanyaka, Wa Racha Kodashka, Al Takwah Mamanya. You see? Take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. That's what we pray for, man. So we can keep walk behind Yahweh Shai. And that's why the scripture says, Whatever has happened unto thee, it's going to happen unto, uh, 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 unto us, man. Whatever happened unto Yahweh Shai, we're going to suffer the same things. So we're suffering, yes. But we got to hope for the good. The, 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 the building that is in the wide and narrow place, where all a uh, wide and open place, where all these goodly things are at, man. That's the kingdom, which is going to be far greater than what Isa has right now, man. You see? So it says, what you looking for? Matthew? No, I was looking for um slow so if you if you lazy to go over there then that means you lazy because the same thing when you say a lion there. So you don't walk out there. If a lion there then you walk out. That's why I walk at the scriptures man. Because right. you have to keep go on and fight over the narrow road man. This is why we're looking for something. The point is if you don't walk out, then you lazy, that means you slut food. Because you will be like the same thing in the scripture say that you are go uh, because the lion over there. When you see lion there, then you can't go. So leave it. Means you don't walk to the narrow to, uh, to get in the kingdom, which means, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's one uh, I was going in, um, I was going to 15 and um, 19, but I was making this. Make this Proverbs 22 and 29. I think he means this. So reading on, it says, um, if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, which the kingdom is the city, and it is given unto a man for an inheritance. Like it says in Psalms, let me grab that real quick. Psalms 104, verse 8. He had remembered this covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law. And to Israel for an inheritance, and to Israel, Slakia, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of, 
of thine inheritance. So this city is, is created for us, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to give us the kingdom, the kingdom of Yahshua Allah, the kingdom of Israel, the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, so it says, And I said, It is so, Lord. Then he said unto me, Even so also is Israel his portion. So this is going to go to the children of Israel. Whether you make it on this side or not, you are going to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because for their sakes I made the world. You see, the Most High has made the world for the sake of Israel, man. And when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was decreed that now is done. So from, from Adam, we are in this predicament. Then were the entrance of this world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful. For the entrances of the elder world were wide and sure and brought immortal fruit. So how we was living back in the days, we was living up to a thousand years, man. You know, in the time, in the time of Noah, you know, Methuselah, he became up into the 900 years old, 975, I believe. You see, we was living almost a thousand years. But guess what? It's going to be even better than that. We're going to be immortal, man. You see? But when Adam transgressed, you know, which was even before Noah, in the time of Noah, it went down. Adam, because the scripture says man was created to be immortal. Okay? But from Adam, when he transgressed, then the Most High was brought, bringing it down. And now we have to go through all these things, through all this hell, to make it into the kingdom, man. So it says, they are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful. For the entrance of the elder world were, were wide and sure and brought immortal fruit. If then they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for them. You see, so this earth is laid up for us. But if we don't go through the straight, which is difficult, and vain things, if we don't go through all these things, we will never enter into the kingdom, man. That's why we know these prophecies have to come to pass. We have to go through all these things. Otherwise, we can never make it into the kingdom, man. So you have the last scripture? Um, the, ship, um, the scripture was gone far. Okay. But I would say it with this already gone. Because no, no, this is good. This is good. Okay. 20, um, Proverbs 22, verse um, 13. The slow for man saying, There is a lion without. I shall be slain in the street. So he makes excuses. A slothful yeah. man makes excuses not to do it. Meanwhile, you just have to do what you have to do. The most I put the spirit upon you to teach you, go teach, man. Stop making excuses, man. Yeah. How about Shem Yashai tell us, go in the highways and byways and teach our people what, what uh, uh, their transgressions. Show my people their transgressions. Show my people where they went off. Oh, you don't want to sound the trumpet in the time of war? You don't want to sound the trumpet when, when troubles is coming? Guess what? The people that die, their blood is on your hand. Yeah, that's you want a half step? You want a half step? You don't want to go all the way for the truth? The Most High says he's going to spit you out if you are lukewarm. The Most High gives you all these scriptures. But if you want to be like, nah, no, I can't go in the city because they're lying there. You know? yeah. I ain't feel like it. Get the fuck out of here, then, man. The most I will spew you out, man. He has no... The most I can raise up stones to come and worship him. He doesn't need you. But guess what? When he puts his spirit upon you to teach, go teach, man. Wherever you are, whenever you are. You have brothers, they go make a video in their lunch break. They're in the lunch break, man. They have 15 minutes. They make a quick video. They work. So give me the other scripture. Um, the other scripture was you have Revelation. You no, no, no. Uh, that one is gone. The okay. Proverbs, what I give you. Proverbs 20, um, 22, verse 30. 29. Oh, that. So, so I give you that, 29, and you find the scripture you was looking for. I was actually give you 29, but then you find about... I find this what I'm looking for, which is a liar. Hey, that's the spirit, man. Yeah. That's the spirit. So I went into the chapter that I was thinking that he was meaning... Because of a um, narrow, you yeah. say, then you are go, you have to go. Because yeah. you know it's fucked up. So, so I, then you have to be lazy, you have to go forward, keep going on. What the, mm. what the ancient tell you, you have to do that first. But I tell you, 
chapter 22 uh -huh. for this yeah but you find the one you're looking yeah, for that's, so right, that's the spirit, spirit man that's, that's the spirit. Right, right. so give me the last okay. one um graph up chapter 22 verse uh, 29 see though a man did, uh, diligent in his business yes see if you see a man that is diligent he's working hard if you see a man like that he shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Yeah, man. A man like that is going to stand before kings. He's not going to be amongst low people. The word mean, mean man. Yeah, means he's not going to be with low people. Yeah. This man is going to be amongst kings. Hmm. So we pray we're going to be of the elect and be amongst the kings of the earth. Because yeah. that's what's going to happen. The elect is going to inherit the earth and the 144,000 is going to be... It's like it's going to be kings in the earth, man. But, you know, so yeah, with that, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham Rakakwadash, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.